Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be letting you join me while I clean and tidy my altar. A lot of you guys have asked for more spirituality videos and this is just one that I thought would be cool because it gives you a little bit of an altar tour as well. So pretty much I'm just gonna be cleaning my altar, putting all of my tools back on it and showing you guys around a little bit. Before I jump into this video any further, I'm gonna assume that a good number of the people watching this video are into spirituality or interested in it. I've actually reached a point within my spiritual journey where I'm comfortable and confident in tarot reading for people. So I've started offering super cheap tarot readings. I'll put the little poster I made on the side of the screen just because that kind of shows you what I offer and the prices. So if literally any of you are interested in getting a tarot reading from me or an oracle card reading or you'd just like to learn more about it then my Instagram will be linked down below so send me a DM over there letting me know that you're interested and we can discuss it further. And it would really help me out as well if you have any friends or family who might be interested to share it with them as well. Completely off topic but I also make some cool little embroidery bracelets if you guys would be interested in buying those. A lot of the orders I've done in the past have specifically specifically focused on pride bracelets. I can make different pride designs. So I just thought I'd mention that as well because I know a lot of my followers are LGBT and it's pride month. So it felt like a good thing to mention. Okay, so this is what my altar looks like empty. Majority of my tools, like my crystals, oracle cards, tarot cards, pendulums, all of that kind of stuff is all in the window where it's been charging overnight. And then the plant and the candles and stuff that are usually on there, I've just took off. So I have this little jar of moon water that I charged last night. Basically all I usually do is just get tissues, dip it in the water and then wipe the table over with it. So after this, I usually still have pretty much a whole jar or half a jar of moon water. And I just use this to fill up this little black spray bottle that I like to keep it in. And any leftover after that, I'll usually just water the plants with. I always make two little jars of moon water every new moon or full moon. One of them I'll drink and then the other one I always use for these purposes. So after I've finished cleaning the altar and I've let it dry a little bit, I'll just start putting everything back on the table. So usually the plant goes first. And I just like to give this a little spray down of moon water. That little bottle just goes on there. Then I've got this little box with some crystal points in. I don't use these too much at the moment, but I want to start crystal gridding again soon. And they're amazing for that. And then I've got some little mini crystal chips, which I think will be useful if I get into spell jars. And then I've just got a couple of little pouches to keep crystals in. So I just put all of those little things at the back. They aren't touched too much, but they'll no doubt have use at some point. Then I've got my little manifestation book and this little book that I just keep all of my spiritual progress in. I guess you could call that my book of shadows because it's just what I track everything in, all of the new moons, full moons, tarot readings. Even when I get like new crystals and stuff, I usually document it in there. And anything new that I learn, I like to put in there too. Then I've got my little singing bowl and just some random little things that I keep on there. A few little charms and then some little spell jars, which I didn't make these, but someone made them for me a little while ago. And then just got my tower and oracle cards. So this is usually when I'll put my crystals back on my altar. I'll just pick which ones I want to use at the time. I usually try and colour coordinate my crystals as well, just because it's a good way of grouping them together and the colour of a crystal usually says a lot about its spiritual properties and what it does for you. And also it just looks beautiful. So I'm going to do a proper crystal collection soon, I think. But for now, I'm just going to put these back on here, probably time lapse a bit of this. I usually start with purple crystals at this end and then work through the rainbow down to like black and white and clear crystals over here. So once I've got all my crystals laid out, I will just put my little bits of crystal jewellery in the same kind of section. Then I'll just lay my pendulums out. Then my marla beads. And then I just have a couple of candles, one which is a full moon candle, and then this one which I use for protection. And then just my incense holder. And that is pretty much what my altar looks like once it's all organized. So just panning over it, this is kind of how it looks. I almost forgot as well, I also just have this little salt lamp that I put on the side. So that's the finished product. So pretty much that is the end of my little altar tour slash cleaning and tidying of it. I'm definitely gonna do some more spirituality videos soon, like a crystal tour and beginner tips. Any other videos you guys wanna see, spirituality related or not, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.